Hello besties, you're troubled. I know you're troubled. A lot of you are very troubled individuals. And back when I was a streamer, I would do these streams where I would go through some of your confessions. Now, there were some confessions I was never allowed to leave in because they were so bad. I wouldn't be able to say them on Twitch. But now I have decided to start a confession series here on my YouTube channel. As you can see here, I received over a thousand anonymous confessions. I will be going through all of them, or as many as it takes to make me go insane. But if you would like to feature in this series anonymously, I have added a new form in the comments section to this video. When that reaches 2,000 confessions, I will make another confessions video. So strap in, dearie, and let's get into it. I bought your vinyl, but I don't have a vinyl player. This is not a bad thing to confess. Frankly, I don't care if you have a vinyl player. Buy my vinyls. It's really important for release weeks. So next time, guys, please. Guys, please. Vaping isn't cool, it's just embarrassing. Embarrassing. Yeah, man. Did you think I had a lost Mary? I don't have a lost Mary. Any of you weirdos, right, that are still vaping in 2024, you need to be bullied. We're going way too easy on the vapors. If you know someone who vapes, take their vape off them. See what they do. It's pathetic. I'm saying this as a former vapor. I, I was I was a heinous individual. I ate a pickle off the floor after a little over a week of it being there. Oh, that got you into a real pickle, I bet. A hospital, probably. No, I was in the point of pickles is that they last long, innit? So I think you're right. <laughs> Wait, wait, Matthew. Oh, yes. Editor, editor Matthew. I'm a pickle. Editor Matthew. I'm Pickle Jim. I am absolutely terrified of thunder. Not really a confession, is it? You have a very basic fear. Oh, God. Clowns scare me. Go, get, get rid of that arrow. I'm not a clown. I'm not a clown. I once accidentally ate the dog. <laughs> ate dog shit. Okay, man. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is such a mistake. Oh, what am I doing? I want to know how you accidentally ate feces. Actually, I don't. We can leave it there. I like to do Fortnite dances when I'm bored. Fortnite, like, dances every couple weeks? What? <laughs> Confess to me. No. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. I'll go f myself. I'm gonna end the video now. We can all go home. We can all go, and we're not gonna get any entertainment today. Ah. Uh. Unless, you know, okay, okay, I'll go, oh, stop it. Uh, Matthew, could you please edit like booing sound effect first? And then uh, the second sound effect be like cheering when I say I'm gonna come back. Um, you're just gonna leave this in, aren't you? And not add the sound effects. Yeah, that's, I may or may not have broken my little cousin's neck by accident when we were little. Oh, the by accident's really important. It, it definitely wasn't by accident though, was it? Oh, little Timmy, how's it go? Oh no, he's, He's dead. Anyway, once I dropped a solid metal ball on my brother's head from the top of our bunk bed. A solid metal ball? How does one acquire one of these? Is that one of those little magnets? You know, the ones that go like, you know, they're like the little, little metal magnet balls. We're getting distracted. They look like grapes. Listen to my music, please. Please listen to my music. It would help me quite a lot. I once saw my brother's willy by accident on our old iPod because he stuck it down his pants. Hold on. All iPod touches prior to the fourth generation lack a microphone, a camera, and a flash. Are you lying to me? <laughs> oh, I saw my brother's willy through um through, through the iPod touch. I definitely didn't see it myself. When I was six, I was at a sleepover and I shit myself in the girl's bed. Rough one, mate. <laughs> That's rough. I'll be honest though, I've um I've pissed myself at a sleepover before. I feel like sometimes there's things that the world doesn't need to know, but I'll, I'll fully own it. I was a bedwetter. People know this about me. I, I think the fact that people know that is weird. Please never get it added to my Wikipedia page. I'm aromatic, but I'm too ashamed to admit. Okay. Now, spelling error makes this slightly funny. I'm aromatic, as in like, you, you, you're stinky. <laughs> You've just said you're stinky. Aromantic people are not stinky. Far from it. Uh, but jokes aside, one, you don't need to admit it to people. Two, you don't need to feel ashamed about it. Everyone is welcome here. And I'm no different from a lot of places in the world. You will usually be accepted by good people. As a kid, I stole a few of my friend's DS cartridges by hiding them in my socks. Okay, but what are we talking here? Because if you're stealing Nintendogs, valid, right? I remember I got Nintendogs for doing well on my 11 plus exam. Golden Retriever. Because my one died. So I, I just replaced him. Sand is tasty. And you are... Odd. Desire for salt condition. I think there's something 
which you might have. Adrenal insufficiency. These hormones control important body functions. Addison's disease can cause salt loss from the body and that may lead to a constant salt craving. You might have this. I am a doctor now. I'm diagnosing you with lack of salt. I'm helping you all so much. No, th this is not. This may not be true. I had a panic attack at the Amsterdam Morty gig and you stopped the show for me and I'm still so embarrassed because of it. Oh my God, I feel sorry for you. You're probably watching this, right? It is never embarrassing to faint at a gig. You're just enjoying yourself. That's chill. You also need to hydrate more. <laughs> so just make sure you're hydrating. I hope you're doing well now though. When we come back to Amsterdam, you can come to another gig and try not to faint challenge. <laughs> I have a weird obsession with thighs and kissing them. <laughs> this weren't me. This weren't me. This one weren't me. I swear, this weren't me. Thighs are goated, though. I'm a thigh man. And with thighs like mine, who wouldn't be? I made out with my girlfriend at one of your live shows during car lights. Is this why people don't sing along to car lights that much anymore? I'm kidding. It's it's probably the one that people sing along to the most. Hold hands. It's one of the lyrics in the song. I don't go, you can neck on with me. But hey, if I can have your thigh, <laughs> I'll do anything. I unironically eat butter and sugar as a snack. Frankly, you're just saving yourself a bit of time. I, I I kind of half respect this because what is a biscuit if not butter and sugar mixed together in a in a multitude of ways? I tried to drown my little sister in the bath once when I was seven. I also have an experience of my older sister trying to drown me as a child. So is this a thing? Is this a thing that kids do? Is there is there some science behind this where older siblings will try and drown the younger sibling? You can't drown me unless it's in pussy. Sorry, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Australian. <laughs> oh, wait, you probably be wondering why I've been flipped upside down this entire video. Hey, mate, I hope you're doing well. I have a fat crush on Mary from Young Sheldon. Well, we are going to look Mary up. Let's see if this is valid. Do you have mummy issues? Because this is, this is very much giving that you have mummy issues. <laughs> I have an alt account on TikTok simply so I can look at what my ex is posting and laugh because he glowed down while I glowed up. Sincere response. The very rare sincere response. If you are looking up what your ex is doing on social media, you have not glowed up yet. Part of the glow up process is just kind of leaving that in the past. If you're constantly looking back over what your ex is doing, there's a decent chance you're probably just not over it yet. And that's not a bad thing, but don't try and shroud yourself in this idea of I'm checking up on them because I'm better than them. No, you're checking up on them because you're still affected. The lyrics of Don't Blame Me relate to me deeply. <laughs> Same man. <laughs> I once sat on my hamster snapping its neck and killing him. I was seven. Traumatizing rip hammy. It's what you get for naming your hamster hammy. Be a bit more imaginative. I shat myself while drunk on a night out. You're not alone. And I didn't mean me specifically. I've never pooed myself whilst drunk on a night out. But I have vomited all over myself on multiple occasions. Which is one of the reasons I don't drink anymore. I am now three years, three months. That's mental. Is that true? No, it's not. I'm lying. It's it's two years, two months. Me and my twin sister used to practice kissing each other in front of our... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I don't know what's worse about this. The fact that you practice kissing your twin or that your parents were privy to it and were like, yep, yeah, that's fine. We'll watch. I openly told my friends that I'm an avid... J What's wrong with being a James Barrett enjoyer? One thing I have noticed is that nowadays when I get recognized by men in their 20s, they will only ever say, oh... You're James Marriott. I watch you because my girlfriend watches you. And then they'll go on to make a reference to something that, I, that I've that i done, which is so specific to the people that, have, that watch everything I do. It's okay. Male James Marriott enjoyers. I know you are few, but it's okay to enjoy this. It's okay. We're allowed this. We come here. I actually prefer it from behind. Oh, you mean... You prefer the past rather than the future. I, I mean, that's that's fair enough. I'm more of a, a future man. You know, I'm looking towards next year. That's what they meant, right? <laughs> What's the peach emoji for? That the future's peachy. The future's peachy, guys. What's going on? I feel like we might need to address the fact that we have a few sand enjoyers. Please let me out of the basement. I do not have a basement. I think. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a basement, so I can't let you out of it. I joked I had a piss kink. Now I have one and gave one to my ex. Fuck, guys. Piss kinks are contagious. Stay away from me. Oh, no. It's too late. I've already got one. Oh, I need... Oh, I'm gonna pee all over myself tonight. What am I doing with my life? I Sometimes I don't piss on purpose because I feel like it's something I need to earn. Why is this real? If I'm playing a video game and I need to take a wee, I will wait right? I'll, I will wait until the last possible moment. And usually I'll go for a piss after I've done something good in the game. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, okay, deserve this one. And sometimes the, the pisses I hold in, a damn couldn't stop them from coming out. I have autism.
I think it's becoming more common, boys. 787% rise in the number of diagnoses. You are, you are not alone. There are probably a lot of autistic James Marriott enjoyers, and I love that. When I was a kid, I was known as the frog killer by my family, as when I would pick up frogs outside, they would die in my hand. That is terrifying. Maybe frogs just die from fear. Ah, they may play dead. But when you flush them down the toilet, they probably were dead after. Yeah. Last year, I really missed my ex and decided that the best way of getting her attention was making an alt account and DMing her multiple pictures of me in a maid dress. I was sober at the time too. What are you doing? What are you... Look, not even your ex wants to see you wear a maid dress. It was a joke that people made on the internet five years ago. No one needs that in their life. Please do not do this. Also, if you had to do it on an alt, I'm assuming there's a reason that then they're, they're not following you or you're not following them on your main accounts anymore. And if that's the case, reassess. <laughs> I have a present father. Oh, you have a present father. <laughs> wow, I, I'm not used to hearing that. So I just assumed you meant that you had a present for me. <laughs> In primary school, I used to be so terrified of the fire alarm that I pissed myself every time it went off. You're not Scooby-Doo. You don't need to wee yourself every time you feel fear. Fire alarms also just aren't scary. Oh my god, I remember I was in the university halls and they would regularly do fire alarm tests at like four in the morning. Oh my god, it was so loud and would mess up my circadian rhythm. Why would you do this to me? I unironically watched Skibbity Toilet. It's bad, I know, but it's kind of entertaining once you know the law. Right, I'm hoping that this was just someone who sent this when I made this tweet months ago. Please, you don't actually watch Skibbity Toilet anymore. I piss in the shower. Hands up if you piss in the shower. Everyone in, with their hand down is lying. Actually at rock bottom, to be honest, James. Say hi to SpongeBob. Oh, rock bottom. <laughs> Not bikini bottom, rock bottom. Oh. Um, sorry. Will and he can actually be funny. He can be known to make a joke every now and then. And I think it's important as, you know, his followers, his friends even, to just support him through this. Because I, I know he's not funny a lot of the time, but sometimes you can just about get away with it. You give him a little laugh and then he'll feel good about himself. And this is important for him. A year ago, I realized that I actually really enjoy James Merrick content. His music is far too, I can't help but listen to it. Auti runs through my veins. I think it's really weird how I have an audience. In the past, I kind of had this overinflated sense of self. And then over the years, my ego has slowly died. I'm very self-critical now when I, when I feel like I have a bit too much of an ego. I, I try and write music about it. But now I'm in a place where I'm very content with what I have and I just find it interesting now that there seems to be people that will watch this video to this point. I feel very lucky. I don't know. Thank you for watching. My mum's dating my brother's PE teacher and she doesn't know that I know. That's not bad, is it? Oh, it is kind of weird. The kid would probably get bullied if the school found out. It's a bit selfish, I think, of the parent in that situation to, to date someone that will impact the kid's life. Just go on Hinge. Don't be unhinged. Go on Hinge. My beta dad cheated on my Sigma mum and their Rizzy marriage ended. You need to cope with this in a healthier way than using brain rot language. I'm glad that you've seen the bad side of cheating. I'm not glad that your dad cheated on your mum, but I'm glad you're showing your mum support because that must be so rough to have had kids with someone and they cheat on you. So good you. You're doing good son slash daughter slash child things. Good for you. I enjoy stirring up drama with my friend group and their friends that have broken up friendships and relationships. Oh, grow up. People that do this, it will catch up to you. People will start doing this to you. If you are a dick, I don't believe necessarily in the concept of karma that it will come around in that sense. Sorry, Jojo. But genuinely, if you act in this way, good people in your life will leave your life and you will be surrounded with people who are negative people and they will do this to you as well. You will just attract that kind of energy. Be better. You are better than this. Uno reverse, you confess something. Holy shit. What the hell? Oh my God. Guys, okay, I'll confess something. What should I confess? I thought Slow Down was really good when I released it. I think that's an interesting one. I remember I got feedback on it before I released it where someone was like, you're kind of just speaking in this song and not really singing. And I just didn't get it. I was like, no, this is class. This is like Blinding Lights by The Weeknd if it was done by me. And it was only really half a year later where I started looking back on it and disliking it. For anyone out there that's scared to make music, you're gonna make bad things, that's fine. You just won't realize they're bad yet. When I was about six, I force fed my brother Sand. God, this really is the sand video, isn't it? Maybe he had a lack of salt in his diet. I once made out with my sister when I was 12 and she was 14. We didn't know what it was like and were both curious. Mental that you would admit that. I would not. You would need to waterboard me. I once gave head while one of your vids played in the- If there is any head going on right now, stop it. I have Chris MD's handwriting tattooed on my body. Probably on your ankle though, because that's all he could reach. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, please. Uh, uh. The only thing that turns me on is piss. I don't know why I have such a, a weighted viewership of, of, 
of people who enjoy piss in this way. I'll never understand it. I'm not subscribed to James Marriott, but you can do it now, can you? Subscribe, please. Subscribe for more James Marriott goodness. My job is monitoring people with ankle monitors. It honestly makes me scared of the world with how many murderers and sex offenders there are. Well, that's a lovely thing to hear. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a confession in the, in the confessions box down below.